everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my monthly nail polish favorite. So these are all of the polishes and nail art that I was actually enjoying throughout the month of June. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with the nail art that I was enjoying. I pulled out the stamping plate from What's Up Nails. I'm going to try not to blind you guys with the ring light, but this pretty much is a really fun summer stamping plate. It has some like ice cream designs on here, pretty much a whole bunch of sweets. You have a cupcake, there's some watermelon designs and strawberry designs in here. So this is the What's Up Nails stamping plate B007. I wanted to talk about the stamping plate because first of all, I've used a couple designs off of the stamping plate this month. I've really enjoyed the manicures that I've created using these stamping plates. I've re actually recently discovered What's Up Nails and I've been purchasing a lot from them. And these have pretty much the same quality as my Moyu London plates, which is why I love them. The back is really sturdy so like you don't have any sharp edges you're not going to cut yourself with. I really like the images. These most of my stampers pick up the images really really nicely if they're etched really nicely into the plate so I've never really had a problem with any of the what's up nail plates that I have and I want to say I had maybe 10 or 15 different plates from them and I hope to grow that collection in the future. So another nail art favorite of mine is actually these nail art foils. I've rediscovered my nail art foils because because of the new organization setup that I have and they're more easily accessible. This here is from dollar, dollarnailart.com and it is a tie-dye foil and I really really fell in love with this design. I actually wore this in a few videos this month and I paired it with this nail polish from Cupcake Polish. This was from the Candyland collection so this is the yellow one in the collection called Princess Lolly and these are just mega super holographic nail polishes and they all have the same finish um, but they're in a clear base and they're just jam-packed with holographic glitter in there. This was such a stunning collection. I'm not sure if it's still available, but if it is still available, I highly recommend the Candyland collection from Cupcake Polish. It was one of my favorite, like all time favorite collections that they ever released. So then another favorite of mine, I haven't talked about this collection yet. I should have a swatch and review video coming up for you guys very, very soon. So sorry if this is like a spoiler alert. Uh, this one's in the color Popstar. I wore this one a lot. And the reason I love wearing textured polishes, so all of the polishes in this collection are textured polishes. And the reason why I love wearing them is because I only have to do two or three coats of a textured polish. I don't even need a base coat. You don't need a top coat for it. And it's gonna last on your nails for Ever. These do not chip on me. I especially love wearing them when I know I'm not gonna have time to do another manicure. So this one right here is this really pretty like light purple, kind of like a lavenderish purple. But what makes this kind of unique is that the texture in here is like a white texture. So it kind of looks like little bubbles coming out through uh, the nail polish. And then there's a very, very fine light blue sheen kind of running throughout this polish. It's not super apparent in the, on the nails, but it is there that if you were to put some type of top coat on this, like a very thin top coat so that the texture wouldn't disappear, it actually would amplify that like blue shimmer running or blue sheen running throughout the nail. So I just really liked this light purple color for some reason I was drawn in um, to this color. There are lots of brights in the collection, but for some reason I was just drawn into this one. So I thought I would mention it. Another polish that I was absolutely loving, I'm actually wearing this one on my toes today. This is from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. And I've talked a few times about Anchor and Heart Lacquer and I'm sorry you can't get this polish anymore. It's called Isn't It Ironic? Because this is a polish from the Polish Pickup. I love picking up Anchor and Heart Lacquer exclusive polishes from the Polish Pickup because they just have such unique and beautiful like formulas and finishes. This one is a bright orange and it has a whole bunch of like dual chrome metallic flakies in there, but there's also these iridescent flakies and very fine iridescent glitter scattered throughout the polish. 
this is lovely fully opaque on in just two coats I wore this on my toes a couple weeks ago and then I decided to put it back on my toes because I just love it so much it's such a bright and fun color another nail polish that I was absolutely loving this month this is from KB Shimmer this is called Double Pog Dare You I'm trying to remember when this collection came out I know I picked it up in polish con it's like it was an entire neon collection but what I like about these neons is you actually don't need a white base for them everything except the yellow in that collection but of course I gravitated towards this blue because this is my absolute favorite color of blue it's this really pretty like robin's egg blue I love it it's super bright this one actually doesn't stain my nails even though I've said this several times I typically don't have a staining problem with these nail polishes but I know a lot of people have issues with these blues in particular and staining I know there's one from OPI from like the Alice in Wonderland collection and then um, Zoya's Robin a lot of people have problems with staining with that and I found that of out of all of the blues this one has the least amount of staining this one's actually opaque on me in just one coat so I really really like that collection and then I actually pulled this polish out because I recently did a KL polish like swatch and review um, but I included dupes in that and this is one of the dupes that I found for one of the polishes uh, that she released and this is called Zoya's Charisma this was a pretty popular polish when I first got into nail polish it is kind of a tricky formula it does take three coats to get fully opaque it is kind of like a sheerish matte finish polish once you put a top coat on this after three coats it is just a stunning stunning color so it's like a bright pinky purple polish it is so beautiful I love wearing this one in the summertime it's just a beautiful color and a staple in my collection and then the last polish I want to talk to you guys about this is from wet n wild this is one of their one step wonder gel nail polishes I did an entire like review on these nail polishes and kind of talked about how they wore and I really really love the formulation of these and these are extremely inexpensive I don't hear that many people in the nail polish community talk about this and this one's in the color the silver screen and pretty much this has become my go-to like silver nail polish I use a silver a lot for nail art I use it uh, I actually use this as a base for this foil I use it as an accent nail and the Sally Hansen insta dry one I think it was called I think it's called silver sweat but they actually may have changed the name it used to be my favorite go-to silver polish but I actually ran out of that and I've been using this instead and I love the formula of this you don't need a base coat with this you actually don't even need a top coat with this and you can get this fully opaque in just one coat but you do have to be careful with brush strokes but I'm, I just I love it as soon as you put a top coat on this those brush strokes kind of disappear so if you're looking for a good silver polish and I know they also have a gold one I would say you know pick this line up I think it's only like $1.99 or something like that and of course the wet and wild website always has these on sale that's it those are all of my nail polish favorites for the month of June I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I currently post three times a week on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays and then on Sunday or every other Sunday I like to do a weekly makeup basket so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one bye